Hi, do you ever get the feeling on certain days when you want to cook something totally delicious or something totally different and which is um, quick and easy to prepare so that you're not spending the whole days uh, or even sometimes you know it's almost like treat for yourself. Now I do and on such days I'll prepare aloo paratha. This is a classic dish where you, you're making a paratha with a potato filling inside it. My name is Avta, welcome back and I hope you're having a lovely day. To make this aloo paratha, there are two main elements to it. One is the boiled potatoes and the other one is the atta. To start off with, I'll give you a very easy uh, way of measuring here. Is, uh, for example, if you want to make uh, six parathas, take a medium sized potato. So, because your filling will be roughly uh, a handful of filling, so that instead of weighing them, that gives me a good measurement guidance there. The type of potatoes that you really want is the starchy potatoes. It will bind together in a better way. I tend to use Mary's Piper. Now, the other element here is the atta. I'm going to show you what the uh, consistency should look like once you have uh, made the atta uh, because my roti would be about that much so I'm just going to go half the quantity so I'll just put like roughly uh, six helpings so that will give me six prathas there. Coming back to the potatoes or the filling I've uh, already boiled them and they're already cooled down. I would grate them and that will give you a very nice even uh, uh, prat. For the atta prep I just tend to put a pinch of salt and just the plain water. Throw in the salt, green chilies, Caraway seeds, it's or ajwan, and fried onions go in as well. So the lemon juice goes in there. So mint leaves go in, uh, which is again very good for the um, digestion and uh, they have got that uh, strong aroma to it and the strong flavor as well and it brings in the green nest filling just mix it uh, with your hands before you start getting ready to get it for the filling what i tend to do is i'll just take a little bit So if I wanted, I've got the option of adding more salt or more chilies or more lemon juice, but it's fine for me. Filling ready and I'm just going to break it into equal portions. So my atta consistency is like that. If I just pick it up and show you. Break it into six pieces. So as you can see what makes aloo paratha so yummy is the filling inside it. So that's double the filling or even bigger and my uh, roti is even smaller than my normal roti chapati that I would make. So it's quite a small bowl. I want to fit that ball sized into this chapati but as you can tell I am putting more weight on the edges yeah so I'm just going to use this one single chapati there because I've got the thick part in the middle this is what I'll do at home I'll just cover all that so my filling is all completely covered now you can just put it back into the dry yatta and just 
roll it gently because the filling is there it's going to get rolled very very easy your uh, tawa or unless if you're using a, a different uh, hot plate or a frying pan um, make sure it's not burning hot but you want it to be hot yeah Sarata, very easy to pick and goes on to the heat while that's getting cooked i'll be rolling my uh, other chapati so there you go sometimes i'll just end up gently pulling it as well so my ball is all covered i've got a thicker layer on that side and i've got that there just press it gently stick it into the flour now the color has started changing here just use one of these and you can tell it's lovely brown uh, color already come I shall turn it round to check the other side and looks the other side is done as well at this stage some people will use butter or ghee but I tend to use a good quality oil so I'll just put a fine uh, layer of oil on both sides and if I press it on the sides all the air starts going into the middle yeah and roast this from both sides beautiful golden color so it hasn't split the filling is not coming out at all and it's got a lovely brown or a golden layer on it and I can also feel that crispiness there and uh, uh, my paratha is ready and serve them with yogurt or you can just uh, have a dollop of butter on the top um, or you can have it with the pickles if you want to make them more hotter it uh, totally depends on you how you want to eat them or just as a snack and I'm going to try that absolutely yummy until next time uh, goodbye for now and God bless you all